Hey planner friends, this is Angela from the Chaotic Life of a Planner. Today we're going to be planning out the week of April 29th to May 5th. May 5th, you guys. I cannot freaking believe it. Time just flies when you're having fun. So I have in front of me my Erin Condren Life Planner in the hourly layout colorful version. I'm really, really, really undecided about which version I'm going to use for next year. I cannot decide if I want to stick with the colorful or if I want to go with the neutral. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys are going to be using for next year. Um, I use the academic year. I guess if you use the calendar year, then you probably haven't decided what you're going to use for next year yet. But my planner ends at the end of June, so... I need to figure that out pretty soon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys what last week looked like. So today is currently Sunday the 28th. Um, I did not give myself really a to-do list for today. I may add maybe a checklist box like that right here later. We'll just have to see how that goes. I am planning to go to the movies today. I'm just waiting to see if any of my kids are gonna go with me or if I'm gonna go by myself. They've been selling donuts all weekend as a fundraiser for their 4-H teen club. So I am very happy with this week. Um, I did really good with my meal planning. I checked off almost everything. This I'll check off today and this I'll check off today. Um, I got, so I didn't mention this to you guys, but my goal for, one of my goals for this week was to upload a YouTube video every day. And I don't have today's video up yet, but I will be doing that probably this evening. So once today's video is up, then I will have uploaded a YouTube video every single day this week. So if you haven't checked out this week's videos, then go ahead and do that. I did, um, I think I did a meal planning or a menu planning. I did my budget videos, um, a plan with me. So another thing that I did was I uploaded five Instagram photos this week, which is um, one of my goals as well. So I'm really, oh, another thing that I'm super excited about is I got three walks in this week. This was actually kind of like two walks. Like I walked my regular 30 minutes at the dipper like I usually do. And then I took both of my doodles for a walk, which was, I did try and take them. So I don't remember what these things, what this thing is called, but it's basically hooks to both the dog's collars or harnesses, whichever you choose to use. And then it hooks to one leash. So you only have to hold one leash when you're walking them. I tried to do that once before when I was picking Benjamin up at the airport, um, but Kinley was a little too short and she kept like walking underneath Sophie. So that wasn't really um, very successful. And I only had to do it for a minute because as we were getting to the airport, Benjamin was coming out. His plane had landed a little early. So anyways, this was the first time that I actually took both of the Golden Doodles for a walk at the same time. And they did really good. Sophie and Kinley are complete opposites. Um, Sophie is very reserved and doesn't really warm up to... I mean, she doesn't mind people that she doesn't know when we're in public, but... Like, she's not one who's going to go up to them and be all excited to see them. Kinley, on the other hand, is happy to see everybody. So that was kind of um, interesting. Kin you know, Kinley wanted to see everybody that passed by us. And Sophie was like, yeah, no, keep walking, please. So that was fun. But anyway, and also, Kinley is only like four months old. So her attention span is really only about a mile. After a mile, she started, you know, nipping it. Sophie's face trying to get her to play so anyways so I am excited that I got all three walks in this week um, that was quite honestly the first time in probably a little over a month that I got in three walks I'm, I'm consistently getting in two walks a week but I need to work better at getting in my third so all in all this week was great I got there I could have done more um, I did have quite a bit of downtime where I didn't do anything but I, I am happy with how this week turned out productive-wise. So let's get right to this current week. So the kit I'm using this week is the Planner Cake Kit. Surprise, surprise. And I'm using um, Mini Kit 147. I have sheet A, B1, and C. 
And then I went ahead and pulled just some um, other miscellaneous ombre boxes that I have from leftover from other kits. This doesn't necessarily go perfectly, but I don't think the yellow looks terrible. If I can come up with another color, I may substitute it. And the gray is kind of just a more neutral kit, so I think it'll work fine. And then I was going to use these two green, smaller ombre boxes as well. And then I also have my other stickers pulled that I'm going to use, or that I'm thinking I'm going to use for this week. So let's get to it. This is going to be a crazy week. I don't have anything to complain about because for the last couple of weeks, it's been kind of low key, but this week will not be. Um, my husband comes home this week and we have some exciting stuff planned that you will see as we go along. I really like this thick washi. I know I say this probably nearly every week, but I really wish that some of Kate's washi came on a roll. Like I would love to have a whole bunch of this washi. That would just be really, really, really cute. It would look cute. Sometimes I use washi to seal like envelopes. This would just be a really cute washi that would have a lot of uses. But at this point, <clears throat> excuse me, Kate's washi does not come on a roll. So, all right, the next thing I'm going to do is I should probably just do, well, let's do sidebar. I'm pretty happy with my sidebar. How I didn't track anything in this last habit tracker last week, but um, that's okay. But I, I'm, I did pretty good. So I'm going to do my sidebar the same way that I usually do. I don't know if I will need to cover up any of this due to ghosting or what have you. So let's just see. I think it's going to be fine. It does show up a little bit right there, but I'm not going to worry about it for that. I'm a little crooked. Oh well. It happens, right? One of the things I'm hoping next week when the Erin Condren planners come out is I hope they get rid of these dots over here. So I don't know if I'm going to use this big sticker. I actually think I might use this one. Now, I don't typically buy this sheet, this, the half boxes and the full boxes. This was a new, something new for me. So we'll see how that, that works out. I was excited to try them. You know, I'm always looking for just something extra to add to my layouts. So I think that'll be fun. I'm going to go ahead and put my date covers down next. I'm actually remembering to put the dates on the headers before I put them down, which I still need to find my tweezers. And I need to get these nails taken off still. I guess this week is Cinco de Mayo, but... We will not really do anything for Cinco de Mayo. I should probably at least make like tacos or something, right? Do you guys do anything for Cinco de Mayo? Let me know in the comment box down below. I've really appreciated the um, comments that you guys have been leaving me. I really like the interaction. It's fun. Okay, then we've got the fifth. I just really can't believe it's May. Like... It's just blown my mind how fast this year is going. I kind of thought since I wasn't going to be working that the year would, that you know, the days wouldn't go by so quickly. But I was wrong. They are just flying by. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to leave that. So let's go ahead. See if I need to cover this up. I think I am going to attempt 
to cover this just because it's such a dark color. You guys know I have a love-hate relationship with this washi. Not washi, white out. I watched a YouTube video the other day when somebody was using this and they do not struggle with this Bic whiteout nearly as much as I do. So it tells me it's probably user error, but I still want to try the Tombow if I can ever find it. I just need to add it to my next Amazon order. Uh, almost made it to the end there. Mostly was just that blue that needed to be covered up. This one's probably fine. Okay. So let's see how that's going to go. I love the colors in this kit. They're so fun. Right, there's that one. Good. Next, let's do the weekend banner. Let's get that out of the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm liking these little flags. And the weekend sticker. All right, there's that. All right, let's try the ombre boxes next. Trying to decide which order I want to do these. Okay, so let's put. trying to stack these green ones on top of each other. I've been trying to, every time I order, order another sheet of ombre boxes so that I can have extra colors, but um, I guess I just need to, well, I don't know if I love that, but I think I'm going to go with it. What I really need to do is just learn to make them myself. I have both a Silhouette and a Cricut, so I have the necessary tools. I just need to do it. Let's go with the pink. I think you can get the ombre boxes from one from um, Aaron Condren too, and they're counted as an accessory item, so they would be 15% off if you ordered, I think it's four. So that would be a pretty affordable way to get the ombre boxes too. And I think they come with more boxes per sheet than the Planner K ones do. I need to look into that. I'm going to be doing an Erin Condren order next week when the new life planners are available for order. So I am excited about that. I don't love this green one. I might look through my stuff later and see if I have a different color that I can use, but I'm just gonna go with it for right now. And then I'm not going to, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not gonna put ombre boxes over here and you'll see why. But I do want to maybe just add a full box there and then this full box here because I want to be able to write in this if I choose to. Okay. So there is that. I think I think the next thing I will do is put my knife and forks down. 
I really need to order more of these because I figure if I use seven of them every week, they go by pretty quickly. So this sheet is going to run out before I know it. I debated not putting them on this weekend, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. I really did good at cooking at home this last week and not going out to eat. So that was good. Whoops. And I think that just having done a good grocery shopping trip and having done my menu planning was really helpful. All right, so there's that. Set these aside. Next, I'm going to do my little Instagram stickers. So let's see what color. What color should I do? I wish you guys could give me like almost immediate feedback and let me know. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do the gray just to kind of tie that in since I did use the gray ombre box here but I know I think it's totally fine because I have the gray knife and fork so I'm gonna aim for five Instagram posts if you guys fo don't follow me on Instagram you should go over there um, I will have some really cool insta stories towards the end of the week but I'm sure you guys will, if you are interested in anything to do with Alaska, you will be really happy to see them. Okay, there's my Insta posts. Let's go ahead and use this thin washi right here. So I did watch some YouTube videos yesterday about creating my own stickers. Um, and, and I'm not really interested in doing it for everything, but there are a couple of things that I'd really like to have personalized. So I might try and do that here pretty soon. Shea Budgets um, just did a really good tutorial if you have a silhouette which I do, but I really like my maker, my Cricut maker. So if I can figure out how to do it on my Cricut maker, I would rather do that than my silhouette. Okay, so there's that. So I guess now what we need to do is to get into each day. So I did do some pre-planning. Monday, let's see what I have here. I'm just going to write on my stickers as I go. So let's see. I'll try and figure this out. Liberty has FFA. I think it's their monthly meeting, but I'm not going to write that on there right now because I'm not entirely sure. Michaela has a chiropractor appointment. I'm not sure what time that is. She knows, so I'll have to ask her, but I think she's only gonna probably have to go for a couple of more times, hopefully. And then that's really it for Monday. Tuesday, we don't actually have anything, except I really need to clean the house. So that's what we're gonna do on Tuesday. Um, it's still muddy. My driveway is still muddy. My yard is muddy. It is starting to dry up quite a bit, but 
We're just not there yet. I think I might see if I can put this right here. So since we don't have anything to do other than some school on Tuesday, okay, I need to move this up a little bit. I think that'll be, I'm gonna just cover up that first one. I think it'll be a good, good thing for us to do there. So Wednesday, we have quite a bit. So let's see. Benjamin watched Endgame last week. But, you know, I've been waiting for Mike to get home before I watch Endgame. So he gets home on Wednesday evening. Let's see, which one should I use? I think we'll use this one. So he gets home. Let's see. Let me put this down here. At 9.15, and I think we are seeing the 10 p.m. showing. I'm put this right here, and then we will use this little Avengers symbol. So, so far, two of my kids have seen this, and we are not, we've told them we do not even want to talk about it. Do not talk to us about it because I do not want any spoilers. Okay, so those little Endgame stickers were from the Coffee Monsters Co. She's got some super cute Avenger stickers. I love them, but I didn't buy them because I didn't see them in her shop until it was too late and I had already ordered. So we have that. I'm going to put... This, let's see, 9.15, Mike returns. He's been gone, but when he comes home on Wednesday, we'll have been 28 days, which, you know, we've done 15-month deployments. I mean, 28 days is nothing, but I'm ready for him to come home. And I think he's ready to come home. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Liberty also has jumping that night, which I don't have enough space down here, so I'm going to put it up here. So let's use, mm, let's use this one. So they've started their nationals practice. So it will be Mondays and Wednesdays from 5.30 to 7.30. until school gets out. The other thing I have to do is pay our Disney deposit. So there's that. Put this right here. Okay, so now I'm on to Thursday. I'm gonna have to flip back to my May view. So Mike has a doctor appointment at 9.15. He has several appointments when he's home this time. Which is good because he's having, I think he has sciatica on top of some other, you know, I think I've mentioned before, he needs to have his ankle fused. So he's really riding the struggle bus there. Okay, so he's gonna see Dr. Hubbard. The next thing we have to do is pick up Liberty's dirt bike. We'll use this one right here for that. And then we have to pick up the camper from having the new batteries put in. I don't know how much that is going to cost. So let's see, I need to figure that out. And 
And Benjamin has hockey that night. So I have, all right, there we go. So let's see how we're going to mark this. I will use this gray hockey stick. He's only going to be able to go to hockey once this week. Let's use this one. And I think it's at 6.45, but it might be 6.30, so I'm just going to put this right here. And then I'll figure that out later. Okay, now we're on to Friday. And go back to okay so Mike has a dentist appointment at 11 a.m. when you're on four weeks at a time for work we have to cram all of this stuff in when you're home for your two weeks so it's, it, it's, sometimes it's a little much to keep track of but It needs to be done. Okay, so there's that. He does have a chiropractor appointment scheduled for four. And I'm gonna put that in here. But I might have to see if I can reschedule it. I really needed it to be earlier in the day, but this is all that they had. So I might call and see if they've had any cancellations. And the reason being, let's see if this will fit here. No, it does not. I wondered if that would fit. Um, the reason being is it is large animal weigh-in. And you guys know we have pigs. And you also know that they're getting big because I think I told you guys last time when we weighed them that they're like 75 pounds now and it's not like Benjamin can still pick them up if he needs to weigh them the problem is they have to have their ear tags so they have to actually have their number and I don't know how to do that nor do we have the proper equipment for that so okay we're gonna have to let's see think about this here I might have to move all this stuff up. Well, it's fine. It'll be okay. So anyways, they need to go to the fairgrounds. And that starts at 4 o'clock. And what I haven't put in here yet is we are taking a road trip. And we're really going to leave this evening. But I guess I'll just have to mark it on, on Saturday. The reason why we're leaving this evening is because Liberty is going to prom in Seward with someone that she knows through FFA. Now, we're not driving all the way to Seward because of the prom. It just happened to be that we were already going to Seward this weekend. And then a boy from Seward asked her if she could go, to, if she wanted to go to the prom with him. So I would never drive, you know, 10 hours so my kid could go to the prom. It just happened to work that way. So since we're already going to be there, we were like, well, okay, I guess that's fine. So I'm going to write... I'm not going to write because I'm going to see something later. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this right here. Even though, so I guess I didn't explain that very well. So Seward is like, you know, well, Anchorage is probably a seven-hour drive if you're not pulling a 32-foot travel trailer. So Anchorage would probably take us a good eight to nine hours pulling the travel trailer. And then Seward is a good two to three hours past Anchorage. She needs to be ready to go by five for the prom. 
So what we decided to do is we we're going to leave Friday evening, drive, you know, three hours or whatever, and then boondock on the side of the road, just pull over on the side of the road and pull off and sleep, and then get up early Saturday morning and drive the rest of the way. However, this large animal weigh-in kind of interferes with that a little bit if Mike has to go to the chiropractor at four because I really need him to be with me to finagle the pigs. So I don't know exactly how that is going to work yet. I just have to see. Sometimes I have to play all of these logistical games and you know, I know everybody has to do that sometimes, but it is what it is. So I will wait to figure that out. I'm going to go ahead and put this little vacation, oh, the rats, this little vacation sticker in here. Uh, let me look and see what book that's from. So that little vacation sticker is from the Happy Planner Dates and Holidays sticker book. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to this. It'll be the first time that we'll have taken the camper out this year. And we haven't been to Seward. We went there as kind of our vacation after Mike's last deployment, which was in 2000. I forgot if it was 10 or 11. So anyways, we haven't been there since then. So we're going to go take the kids to the Seward Sea Life Center. Um, we'll just have to, I, we don't have, you know, a whole bunch of things planned. We just basically want to go and just spend some time together as a family and enjoy ourselves. So I'm looking forward to that. So the next thing I'm going to put in are my workout stickers. Move that over there. So let's see. Oops, wrong one. Hot mess, hot mess. Okay, here we go. So, what colors do I want to use? Maybe I'll just use... See, this would be another perfect time when you guys could give me instant feedback as to what color stickers you think I should use. because I don't really feel like any of them are matching. Like, that's a little too dark. This one's not terrible, but I only have one of them. I could use this one. And I guess I could use this one. Okay. So let's see if I can figure out three days when I'll have time. So I'll try and work out on Monday. Try and work out on Wednesday. And then maybe I'll actually just work out on Friday. I'll put it on Friday. I may end up doing it on Thursday. So I think that might actually work out pretty nicely. And then we'll do some, you know, probably walking along the beach and stuff like that while we're in Anchorage here, or in Seward here. So the next thing I'm gonna do, oh, okay. I'm gonna use my little doodle girl. I really love her, she's so stinking cute. I'm going to put her right here. And I think I just saw in Kate's new releases that she's got some more doodle girls that are coming out and I'm really excited about that. <clears throat> So since we are going to be camping, I do need to go grocery shopping. Let's see. Maybe I'll do that Tuesday night. It's a little early for fruits and vegetables, but... I can probably go ahead and stick it in here and then we'll just see how it goes. And then I'm going to use this fun little grocery shopping sticker. Let's see what else. 
can use this little doctor icon right here. Oh, I know what I need to do. Okay. So... mark this payday so we actually have two paydays this week you don't have to mark it down here which is fine there's that one I don't have another payday sticker right here let's see my plier case stickers are such a freaking mess right now I really need to figure this out like I have this empty binder because I'm not putting them away after I'm done using them which is stupid okay so I used that pink one this is a little bit different but I think it'll work fine let's use this one Maybe I should do bring my planner case stickers with me and organize them when I am on the way to Seward. That would be something useful that I could do on the drive rather than just playing on my phone. So that is why I told you guys if you don't follow me on Instagram that you need to go over and do that because I will be bringing you guys some really cool Insta stories. We might bring the kayaks. Um, there's you never know what we're going to see for wildlife we almost always see caribou on the way to Anchorage I have brought some caribou pictures like when they're crossing in front of us and whatnot I actually hit a caribou one time when we were driving to Anchorage <clears throat> with my car which was very unfortunate so anyways if you guys want to see some cool Alaska stuff like that head over and follow me on Instagram okay so this payday is for retirement this payday is for Mike's regular job Planner time. I need to mark that. I'm going to try and pre-fill in some videos so that I can still have videos to upload while we are out of town. We'll see how that goes. Where am I going to put planner time? Probably have to do it here. I'll be able to edit when we're out of town and probably upload. I just can't really film when we're out of town. So I think that's about it, you guys. I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. I'm hoping that maybe I can, um, you know, I, I haven't tried it yet, but I got this. I actually haven't even opened it out of this plastic. I got this little HP sprocket printer. So I'd like to be able to maybe print some pictures from our trip and kind of use it like memory planning style, but it's pretty full. However, when I get to next week, we're not coming back until probably this day. So I'll have some room on these pages as well. So let me just look through my stickers one last time. See if I missed, oh, I did. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to use my little coffee monsters. So let's see, let's use this one. So I would like to try and, well, this will be my reminder for Insta stories while we're gone. That's cute. Uh, I'm using a little tiny plan. She's stinking adorable. I might move that payday up a little bit. Let's do that. Or not. Or not. Let's not do that. Let's just leave it. And then the other one I have is film, edit, and upload. Let's do it like this. So 
So I think I can use the top half of this ombre box. There we go. I think last week I used a bigger one and I wrote focus and then I wrote all of my videos that I wanted to film. So I think that'll work good. Okay. Now I think I'm really done for reels this time. So if you are interested in this kind of content, I post planning videos, I do meal planning, I do budgeting videos, um, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button. Also hit the little bell so that you can be notified when I upload new content. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It really does help promote my channel. I thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye guys.